My name is David Zaglinski. I'm a business development manager for OSI Soft. Uh, we are the world's leading provider of real-time data infrastructure. So what does that mean? That means taking hundreds, millions of events from different yeah. protocols, different languages, bringing them all together into <laughs> one software space, and then being able to serve it up for analytics and visualization to owner operators of assets, facilities, and the enterprise where multiple assets and multiple facilities are controlled by corporations and executive, executive staffs. Well, so this is sounding like um, sort of it answers a lot of the, 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 the big questions on the surface of it, but, t but tell us more about what makes this so compelling and, and tell us along the way what makes it compelling to you personally. Why, why are you involved with um, OSI Soft? Uh, I was in the semiconductor industry for 18 years before OSI Soft. I've been with them almost five years now. Um, so I made computer chips, and it was an interesting business, very cyclical. And then I had my own company for a while that was kind of a bridge between hardware and software. So Great Recession of 08 forced a lot of companies to change, ourselves included. Uh, I thought, well, you know what, let me take a look at this pure play software stuff, because I'm, I'm really a hardware guy masquerading as a software guy these uh -huh. days. Well, more and more, <laughs> more, and more. that uh, visibility between the two is becoming um, more, much less hidden. So from a business perspective, I find the software industry to be much, uh, much quicker in being able to, to innovate, to follow trends. You know, the big trend now is cloud. What does that mean? I mean, some of our environment, some of our applications are cloud-based. We, we do have a cloud for a certain class of enterprise customers, but there's a big bridge between public and private and how do you serve up that data. So that's kind of our current innovative challenge is going from the traditional I own the machine or I have machines in a data center, and I have a piece of that data center that I rent, mm -hmm. to I'm no longer responsible for any of that IT. I just want that information as a service, and I'm going to pay a subscription. But I want all the feature-rich capability that I got from the traditional model. So tell us just a little bit about how your system comes in to you know, instrument the, the, the systems that that you're measuring? Do you come in to instrument them or, you know, how, how do you deploy? We do no hardware whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So typically our customers own all the hardware or mm -hmm. they have a subcontractor that may own the hardware and provide it to them. Mm -hmm. We come in and speak the different protocols okay. of all those assets within that business. Okay. Whether it's a data center, whether it's a building, whether it's a power plant, uh, whether it's an oil and gas well, whether it's a chemical refining facility, uh, whether it's a diesel generator up in the oil sands of Canada. So we'll bring all that information in, whether it's hardwired or wireless satellite, and allow then the company, even though there's all these assets that are speaking different languages or protocols, mm -hmm. we homogenize that. Mm -hmm. Bring it into one very scalable, tens of millions of points into one particular engine that's dedicated to real-time data. Not relational, although we interact with relational very, very well, mm -hmm. but a proprietary real-time data engine that, you know, as I had mentioned earlier, is the leader in, in the world for that particular type of data. So your customer has a lot of smart elements and they need to bring those together into a smart system, and that is what your 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 infrastructure um, and your programmatic interfaces that you then provide atop that software development kit um, allows a, 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 a client to do and, and uh, supports a set of uh, uh, an application ecosystem to build there. Uh, currently, are those applications typically uh, customer written or is there an industry um, emerging, do you think, to write to the SDK that you provide? So. We provide a good deal, you know, we like to say that we're going to get you 
all the way there with your business needs, with our tools mm -hmm. and the configuration thereof. Let's say you really want to go into a custom mode. You have two choices. Through our SDK and our connectivity, you can write your own applications, your own custom applications on top of our infrastructure. We also have a very broad family of partners that we can recommend, depending on your industry and the various experiences they have in your industry, where they can come in and create a custom solution for you, again, on top of our infrastructure. Excellent. So my last question for you, David, is um, do you have any advice for others who are doing innovative things in this in this um, highly critical, fast emerging, um, many many problems not yet solved, a uh, lot of impetus to, to, to solve them, the space that you're in. Do you have any advice for players operating in this space right now? Watch your overhead. Try to do as much as possible using other assets available to you. If you can develop on a cloud in a very low cost way, do your development like that. Look towards the market and your scalability and your breadth. I see a lot of uh, companies coming out, you know, well, we have this idea and that idea, and it's, it seems to be very niche focused. Um, I think the, the secret of our success is that we've looked at a very combination of niche real-time data, but a very broad spectrum of customers and that whole infrastructure play that allows us to be very sticky mm. and be very much part of their businesses. Excellent. Well, I'm excited, actually, about what you're doing, and I'll uh, look forward to seeing how, how it goes forward in the future. Thank you for the work that you're doing, and thank you for talking with us today. Thanks, Sue.